Catholic Women's League is a, uh, a group of women who gather together to work for the common good um, through service, prayer, and, and to make our world better, our community better. And we are an international service, which makes us rather unique. I'd like to share a story that our uh, national president shared with us. And it was about a, it's about a group of hedgehogs who are gathered together and are facing a very long and cold winter. So they decided to group together to stay warm. When they did that, their quills pierced the, the neighbor and that wasn't very comfortable. So they decided they would separate. And that caused other problems because separated, they were cold and alone and that wasn't a very good situation. So they made the decision to group together again. And it was worth the, the uncomfortable situation where the neighbor's quills piercing, were piercing you to gather the warmth and comfort and stay alive for that winter. Well, you will, to, to not go alone, you will put up with those little piercings, those little disagreements. It's worth it to not try and do something alone. And that's the true definition of leadership. Facing adversity, I think one of the main things for us, for a Catholic Women's League, is prayer. And also to be able to accept those prayers. Uh, if you accept somebody's prayers, it's like the story, you're not alone. You're facing whatever you are together. And it's a lot easier to solve a problem with more than you and to find the answers. That's what we would do. That's what we do when we're facing adversity. We've sponsored and helped a lot of, of uh, people, families who are in need. We sponsor awards at the school. At the high school, it's, uh, we've contributed to the benevolent fund there. We've made um, altar cloths for the different schools, all three of the schools actually. Our latest event was the memorial that we held after the loss of our church. Uh, the parish, the community, everyone was a little bit hurt, angry, carrying heavy load. And we wanted to share that, just like the story. And so we decided to have a memorial and we got, it was open to everybody and lots of people came. And we shared our grief with stories and song. And we actually had a uh, eulogy for the church and it sort of set the tone. And we ended with a um, walking, processing, processing to the graveyard and paying tribute to the forefathers who built the church and vowing that we would build it again. We have fifth generation people from the original uh, builders of the church. And they talked about, we will help build this church. They're just little children right now, but it was a wonderful healing event for everyone. And we actually started with the taping of the bells that Paul Smith had, had put together and uh, they were heard in sunshine. It was a great way to start and a great way to end. And someday we will hear those bells again. Mm -hmm.